Video RuneScape doesn't need nostalgia. Okay. And this is a reaction to my reaction to his video. Old school RuneScape is often paired with the word nostalgia, which mm -hmm. is understandable. It's in the name. Old School RuneScape. The game currently stands in its 11th year of existence and takes place in the top three most played MMORPGs. And I am I here so. to yes. say that nostalgia has not been a driving force to get Old School to where it is right now. In fact, I would argue that nostalgia has never been a true contributor to Old School success. It's not the reason any of us are here. See, recently I made this video uh, talking about the state of MMORPGs and what future they may or may not have. Mm -hmm. And naturally, being my video, OSRS came up a few times. And not to pump my own tires or anything, but I think it was a pretty good video. However, uh, you know, what I think about it doesn't matter because one of you people decided to send it over for a peer review, uh -oh. which first of all, oh. you were supposed oh. to send this one. I wanted that to be reviewed. Look, I, I, I'll okay. do that eventually. Well, why is he still not watch this video? Because it's 40 minutes. For? But it's fine because I did I'll a watch peer it at review some point. of the peer review. Uh, that way I get the last word in, okay. so I win arguments by default. Look at this guy. This is terrible. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Look at how good the motion capture is and how photorealistic Baldur's Gate 3 facial capture is. Doesn't matter. For I MMO. think that plays such a massive role in why. I don't think that. that I, I disagree with that. It doesn't matter for an MMO. Why not? Why the game is popular. WoW doesn't even. When they're giving you a quest for the Alliance, he says, as he just said a novel of mm -hmm. things to you. And I don't even think his mouth moves when he says for the Alliance. <laughs> anyway, during this peer review, Asmund said something I've heard a lot. If this game came out today, it wouldn't be as popular as it is. It only exists because people have nostalgia for it for 25 or 30 years. That's the main reason. And that must have been the tip of the iceberg. He's not me, happy about I that. Because a Word document and uh, here we are. Uh -oh. As someone who has two different old school RuneScape series that can be linked uh -oh. directly to nostalgia, I'm here to set it straight. When I say this, I'm not just talking about MMORPGs. Old school RuneScape is one of the greatest video games ever made. Nostalgia has not done the legwork to get it there. But I'm not in the mood to talk about it because I'm hungry and my personal chef is going to make me not hungry anymore. Nice. So give me a second, please. Hello. I'm not the same guy. I'm a chef. When Jimmy hired me, I didn't know how to cook anything. They told me to apply to as many jobs as possible and just lie on my resume. But, oh yeah, I guess you must have watched my videos. Um, I, I think that, by the way, I think nostalgia plays a huge role. It plays a tremendous, insurmountable role. And I think that we'll get a comparison. Because that new game that RuneScape, one of the developers or makers of RuneScape is making, what's it called? I think it's like something with it that starts with a W. Or something like that, like Shores, maybe? Like, what? what is it again? Brighter Shores. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Brighter Shores. Well, well we're going to have to wait and see. Yeah, well, let, let's see what happens, because that's going to be very similar to RuneScape. Now, obviously, it's not the same game, so it's like, ah, uh, it's hard to really compare. But the reason why people asked for old school RuneScape is fundamentally nostalgia. It's in the name. That's the reason. I, I, I don't know what to say. May and I didn't I didn't think I'd actually get hired for a while mm -hmm. I was just kind of opening his fridge and staring blankly worked for a few weeks But I really had to figure something out So I learned about hello fresh never again Did I need to think about what I was gonna cook? They told me what I was gonna cook and they gave me everything I needed This is what chefs dream about mm -hmm. they make it foolproof and all this stuff comes in beautifully packaged from a farm They've got about 50 different recipes by the oh. time I cycle through all of them He thinks it's a brand new meal. He, he forgets so he's still hasn't caught on that I'm doing this. I don't know if any of you have been to a grocery store before. It's not for me. The other day he said down. he was in the mood for a uh, barbecue. So mm -hmm. I told him I've Ooh, cleared I like hundreds barbecue. of barbecues. I, I love barbecue. Some cheese stuffed burgers. Totally bought it. I never even used a grill before. He Jesus. took me on vacation with him. Thought my cover was blown, but I can literally send it to where I'm vacationing. He never found out. I snuck the link in the description. He's never going to see it. Go to that. You'll get 10 free That's a good ad. And free That's a very good ad. For life. People are going to think you got ratatouille yeah. in your hat. Use that code. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and one. getting me this job. Nostalgia in the video game world yes. has become very messy because nowadays it's pretty common to weaponize nostalgia into this uh, marketing tactic. Just a little party trick they pull to make a quick buck mm -hmm. at the expense of us remembering what it was like when our life it was... It used was... to be good. Yeah, I remember how it used to be. Back in my day, 
You know, I used to be on vent. Simple and, yep. and happy. Very kind of them. Most recently, you can look at this Star Wars Battlefront mm -hmm. collection. Ooh, the that was bad. Collection. When that thing was first announced, I thought I was going insane. Seeing all the positivity surrounding the Vote with your dollar. Of that. Because everyone's just going bananas for this big release of the classic collection. I just, I, I can't imagine, like, because, so, so remember whenever, I think it was Blue Hole? Whenever they made the remake of Demon Souls, and it was just this amazing fucking like 4K quality, uh, PlayStation 5, like incredible game, and it was the same price, I I think, uh, almost at least as just a fucking reskin. Like what? How do you do that? If it wasn't this available thing to everybody with a semi running computer, what was, was that? Blue about? Point? I don't $30 remember. for a texture pack. Blue Point, it's that yeah, kind maybe. Of thing in the entertainment industry that has put this negative connotation around the word nostalgia. Things like remastered yeah. games, their goal is for a quick cash grab, mm -hmm. very short term. Get everyone to purchase it, never look at it again. But with a situation like old school RuneScape, it's not really the case of releasing something once and then forgetting about it just to yeah. make money for a second. Jagex really didn't want to do this whole old school idea, mm -hmm. coming up with basically every excuse in the book not to do it. I'm sure most of you uh -huh. have seen the yes, I'm familiar with that. Of, you know, you think you do, but, but you, you don't. don't. Yeah. Uh, Vanilla WoW received Man. and asked the question. Didn't exactly that guy. That well, but honestly, Jagex did the exact same thing. They just didn't do it during a live streamed event. Mm -hmm. Not only was there a petition that content creators rallied communities to go and yeah. sign, there was also a private server that had about 390,000 registered accounts, which Jagex Jesus. shut down. And if of none course. of those things happened, then That's actually kind of crazy that the exact same thing happened for WoW. I didn't know the history of this. This is really interesting. Because, yes, this exact thing happened for WoW. What the fuck? It's like an alternate reality. I wouldn't have gotten the poll from Jagex themselves, you know, just to be sure that we really wanted it. Jagex knew that nostalgia is a short-term feeling. You don't just constantly feel nostalgia. It's this thing that hits you. You know, it might stay with you for a little bit. Players wanting to feel nostalgia was not enough to justify putting a bunch of resources into. What Jagex didn't understand mm -hmm. was that this was not an outcry uh, or a demand to feel nostalgia. Nostalgia really wasn't what people were thinking about when all of this was going down. This was all an expression of it had to have been what everybody was thinking back about because fundamentally they're all saying we want the old thing back and they signed a petition because of that i resentment towards the decisions that jagex was making turning the game into something that players didn't recognize anymore have you ever been playing a sandbox yeah. game you're about 20 hours into it things started becoming more complex how is this not nostalgia Complicated, you're micromanaging things. You're kind of just really missing that early game. It's just a very congested feeling you're getting. What is the definition of nostalgia? A sentimental longing or wishful affection for the past. So let me get this straight. People wishing for an old school version of the game is not nostalgia. Am I taking crazy pills? I, 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 I feel like I'm crazy. What? There might be some long-term decisions yeah. that you made that you're really not enjoying anymore. Suddenly you find yourself pushing all mm -hmm. this progress away and starting fresh with a new game. That way you can create yeah. a different path and make different decisions that you know will affect you later down the line. I think that's more of the feeling that RuneScape players were having. Jagex was screwing up our playthrough Things felt wrong, and we wanted to go to the main mm -hmm. menu and start a new game. Redo a couple thousand decisions. So Old School launched February 22nd, okay. 2013. Players logged into a server that was a backup of the game from August 10th, 2007. It was as yep. if players had traveled backwards in time five and a half years. So for the first couple weeks, the average player count was about 40,000 uh -huh. on day one with 65,000 concurrent players. But about three months after launch, Old School RuneScape was averaging about 17,000 concurrent players. Mm -hmm. And by August, about 12,000. The main yeah. game was consistently holding more players than Old School. And the reason that it was declining was very simple. There's no updates.
I mean, there were some quality of life improvements mm -hmm. here and there, but I mean, the first original content that Old School got was Nightmare Zone, and that's just about the most boring thing you can do. It's it's content built for you to look away for 10 minutes. It also got Rooftop Agility, which, I mean, it's cool, but I mean, it's, it's still agility. Those updates we were getting were <laughs> simply not enough to keep players excited. And I don't know if you could tell, but nostalgia was definitely not keeping players there. But here's the plot twist. I believe that the lack of nostalgia was exactly what the game needed. The game was just kind of sitting here mm -hmm. with nothing happening to it. The difference between this 2007 world and the original 2007 world, players with their developing adult minds saw this whole big sandboxy world from a whole different perspective, which sparked new ideas that had never been tried before. What if you were Now he's explaining Season of Discovery. This is what happened with Season of Discovery and WoW. It's just that the decisions that Blizzard added in were bad. Basically, Season of Discovery is like if instead of having a polling system like RuneScape has, uh, you just have people that don't understand why the game was popular. And like, I, again, I like the Season of Discovery team, but they have... I, I don't think that some of them understand why Classic is popular. I don't think they get it. So many bad decisions? Yeah. Last person on Earth, and you logged into an old school room. We made it into server. retail? It's yep. just you and this video game. How hard would that be? Well, I mean, I don't know. Let's try it. How about, yeah, this is cool. This is working. But what if uh, when we did this, we only had one life. We could, well, you're not allowed to die or it's a permadeath, yeah. you know, it's done. That's adrenaline pumping. Let's do it. Let's try it. Let's this go is layer always so crazy for me to listen to this because it's just like every single one of these parallels is the exact same to WoW. Deeper, you know, let's <laughs> hear me out. Let's get a little crazy here. What if, what yeah. if you couldn't use a bank limited to 28 inventory slots? Yeah. Could you do that? I mean, I, I store hundreds of things in the bank. Surely that's not possible. Or is it? Let's try it. I just got a crazy idea. I got a crazy idea. Let me, let me, we, let me. we've only got these 28 inventory mm -hmm. slots, no banks. That's it. We also lock ourselves to a certain region of the game. Let's try that. It's crazy. I know, but like, I think of all the things we have to discover, all the methods that mm -hmm. no one's really ever thought of or tried because you'd have to be stupid to try them. But, but, but that's all we have. Did you know the map is made of chunks? What if we locked ourselves to chunks? We have to Lock one <laughs> chunk at a time. Clue scrolls are how we progress. Chronologically time locked. Cave locked. Jesus. No light, please. Like me in real life. Tile locked. One square. The Good squares one. in the game. One at a time. Skill locked. Uh, only some skills. One inventory slot. It's all I need. Oh my look god. No guides. Don't look Prop at me. hunt. I'm an item now. One hit point. Perma death. Lock me out. Jagged Jesus. Leagues. We take all those ideas. Make them fast now. Go. And we're still not trading anyone. Unless it's with your friends, group of five. Ooh, five I remember of this. Soup. We need a game show. Four seasons of yeah. it. Yeah. Quest guide. One sec. Great. The whole world is PvP. But if you're the last one standing after a couple weeks, you get real life money. Make a series. Eighty six episodes old school, old in a rice mountain. Jesus. No shoes. Were feet locked off. Oh. No magic. Only Slayer. That's it. Where That's are we? Doing. Where am I? What year is What it? is this? Over ten years later. We've all collectively made one of the greatest communities in all of gaming, currently averaging 110,000 concurrent players every day. And you know what? I'm a fair guy. I'll lower our player count by 20%. Mm -hmm. That way, we've only got 70,000 more average That's a lot players. of people. The old school devs deserve credit where it's due. Because after they realized that updates equals mm -hmm. interest, original content was constantly being pitched, pulled, and then developed as the players helped shape the direction of the game. While most of the updates stay true to the I don't think that any of this, by the way, counters what my argument was. Uh, basically, all of the updates and all of the content that's added into old school RuneScape is built into the game in the context of the game being a fondly remembered game from people's childhoods so yeah you're right the new content isn't necessarily nostalgia but nostalgia is a driving factor that gets people to stick into the game it's not uh i i think that's what's going to happen uh and again I, I think that's the same thing with classic wow like if classic wow came out today you know for example and nobody had any nostalgia for the game I don't think it would be anywhere near as popular as it was in 2004. And I think that it wouldn't have been anywhere near as popular as it was in 2019. I think the truth is that nostalgia is such a huge factor, and it's something that permeates the DNA of the game. I think if you look at, for example, a lot of the content creators for the game, a lot of them are mainly older guys. And what a surprise, because there's probably a lot of older people that play the game. So what's the average age of people that play RuneScape? 
what are the average ages of people that like you know are interested in the game and how long have they played the game i think that many of them have played it for a massive long amount of time they probably played it yeah 30 plus right so how is it that you have an audience of people that are 30 plus that have played a game for 10 years and you don't think that nostalgia has any impact on that you don't think that that's not a foundational reason why it's happening of course not it's like wow it is like wow and i said that in my video i said and this is what my point was right was that every single mmo is trying to go backwards to 2004 and be world of warcraft and no other mmo is trying to be what an mmo needs to be in the year 2024 or 2025 that's my point that i was making uh it's not whether runescape is a better game than wow or not but both of these games are fundamentally reductive uh, this type of combat and gameplay and graphics are tremendously reductive and they put off a lot of people. And I think that a lot of the people that enjoy games like this enjoy these games because of the fact that they're older and they have nostalgia, maybe not even for RuneScape, but for this kind of a game. I, I, I'm amazed that that's... And, and by the way, it's not that RuneScape would, would fail. It's not like, oh, if it wasn't for nostalgia, it would fail. And it does get new players. It does. But to say that nostalgia is not a massive driving factor for why the game is popular is completely naive. And I think it's the same thing with Classic WoW. Like, if Classic WoW released like now and there wasn't nostalgia, I don't think it would have been there either. I think RuneScape is probably... I think it is probably one of the best MMOs of all time. It's not even a question. Like, it's undeniable that it is. Like, what RuneScape accomplished is something that I would say in a lot of cases no other MMO has accomplished. So I don't want to take anything away from RuneScape, but to act like releasing something, something like this today would, with no context uh, at all of, like, the way that these games used to be or anything... I don't think that's true in any capacity because there have been a lot of games that have been released that kind of fit into that nostalgia like category. They're like, oh, this is like the old games, but they're just bad and people don't really like them. They don't really stick around and play them at all because they're not very good. What really drives these games is nostalgia. Nothing else survived uh, like OSRS, but it isn't like RuneScape. Yeah, it is. Nostalgia only plays a factor on launch and it diminishes very fast. I completely disagree. I think that every time that you hear a song that the game plays where it's like, oh yeah, um, you know, I'm going to listen to this song and it's like, this reminds me of when I was in high school or something like that. And it, it's not that like, so this is an example. It's not that nostalgia is the reason. It's that like, if you have a pie chart, I think nostalgia is a very big slice of that pie chart. And I think that without the nostalgia the game would probably not be as popular as it is, and it probably wouldn't have taken off in the same way. And I think this becomes proven evidently whenever new games come out and they try to capitalize on a nostalgia vibe, but they don't really have the nostalgia going for them. Nostalgia isn't the reason, but it's, it's a reason. Yeah, sure. They're super inaccessible because they're built for people that are already familiar with it. Yeah, I think that's another factor. It's like a lot of the things that excite the RuneScape community, too. Like, most of the updates that they're doing, and, and I'm speaking from ignorance here, so I don't really know this, so correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of the updates that they do are for veteran players. They're for people that have played the game for a really, really long time. Like, I, I no, that's not true. It's not true. Well, I guess it's everyone that I hear about. Okay. Yeah, totally different, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Like, whenever I see updates and, like, new content being added, I always hear about it whenever it's, like, a new boss or something like that. But I'm not really sure. But either way, um, I think nostalgia plays a massive factor with games like this. And in my opinion, I think it is the biggest factor. I do. I, it is. And I, I think it is insurmountable, the level of nostalgia that people have, because no other game can go back and be the game that you grew up with in high school or middle school. It can't do it. It is insurmountable. And I think the same thing is true with WoW. I think the same thing is true with RuneScape. I think it's true with a lot of games. You can't beat that. And you can't act like that's not a huge reason. This nostalgic aesthetic, there is nothing nostalgic about mm -hmm. this gameplay. And that's completely okay. Old school RuneScape. Of course it is. This is the original game. The graphics, the style, the numbers, 
the design, it is. It is a standalone game. I promise nostalgia mm. itself is never going to be the reason that we are seeing growth. Like I was saying, in a way, the lack of nostalgia is what got mm -hmm. us here. New creative directions for both players and devs to take. And it's funny because four years ago, I could have swore we were mm -hmm. almost out of ideas. There's no way we keep coming up with things. It's literally that classic. It's nostalgic by definition. What's going on here? I, I honestly feel like I'm taking crazy pills right now. You have a game that's called old school version of the game, and people are saying it's not being fueled by nostalgia. Nostalgia is literally, it, it, that's the, the name. I, I don't understand. I'm so confused. Uh, forward to now, all I can think is, yeah. I can't wait to see four years from today and see what crazy shit we've done. Because with this player base and all the possibilities that we've discovered mm -hmm. and still discover, I've got no idea. Anyway, while I have- It's not 100%, it's like 25%. You're right, it's not 100%. I never said it was. But it is a huge factor, and I think out of all the factors, it is the largest proportional factor. I think that if you took that away, a game like this would not catch on in the same way that it did today. If this game released today with no nostalgia, I don't think it would catch on. Uh, click the like button. I can wait a second. It's, you, what else are you doing, you know? I, I can wait. You, can, you can't okay. know that? I'm assuming you clicked it. Players You're right that I can't know that. And you bring up a good point. I'm guessing. But so is he, and so is everybody else in chat. We're all guessing. But that's my guess. I feel nostalgia. Don't get me wrong. It's still a part of old school. Me, mostly the audio. When I play the Al mm -hmm. track, I can transform right back into being nine years old. I feel the same way about WoW. I do. I understand it. And I also know what it is. It's nostalgia. Training on the, the purple guard mm -hmm. guys. I can sense somebody stealing my rock crab every time Borderland comes on or the body parts track just dropping me directly into the experiment cave. The sound of a whip or a dragon longsword special mm -hmm. attack or a goblin taking damage. That's the shit that'll hit me with nostalgic feelings sometimes. I feel it. And it's not just those 2007 yes. memories that trigger nostalgia in people anymore. Old school's been out for 11 years, which is more than enough time to create nostalgic feelings for people. There are players now who will get more nostalgia at Zora than they would at the Goblins and That's the first boss they added, right, into the game? Maybe they remember creating an Iron Man and playing in 2014, 2015, grinding it for hours, yeah, learning for soul it, boss, if they yeah. went back, they would get hit with it. At the end of the day, it is not a contributing factor to our growing player base. I think as adults, a lot of us are coming to this realization that old school RuneScape uh, has the ability to... I think it is a contributing factor. I think it's a massive factor. It is an insurmountable factor that if the game was released today and it had the same gameplay and the same updates, it would not be successful in any capacity. I don't think that it would have probably 50% of the success, if not even way less. Uh, I think also the same thing about WoW. I think that if Classic WoW was released in the year 2024, it would probably have less than 10% of the success that it did in 2004 or 2005. That's just that's what I think. It was re-released. It was in the context of it being a nostalgic game. Yes. Same with Diablo 2. Yeah. Back to your time while also having the capability of consuming all of it whenever you let it, which is really nice. I'm still going to get some XP while I can, so... I'm just gonna be on my phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's so many oh levels of attention that you can do just depending on what fat activity guy. is going on in There's the game. There's a chick. You I don't even know. You can be AFK for 20 minutes doing yeah. something while still progressing your account, or you could be hands on your F keys and mouse doing some crazy ass boss mechanics. Mm -hmm. And there's so many more things that are in between those. There's so much to do in this game. I think a lot of MMO players out there are looking for that number go up feeling. And I really don't think there's many games that do it better than this one. That famous RuneScape quote, you never quit, you only take breaks, just holds up year after year. Old school's early game and mid game is always gonna have that sense of- I think he's right. I do. I think he's right about that. And I think the same thing happens with WoW. But I think 
only quitting and, and taking breaks actually plays into the nostalgia argument pretty well. People took a break, they come back, and it's easier for them to come back because it's familiar to them because of the nostalgia. Familiarity, it truly is yes. always waiting for you. I'm not trying to turn this into some ad for old school RuneScape, but I just think it's important for the MMO world to understand that there's about a million things that RuneScape gets right that a lot of other games could take from. So to directly respond to Asmund saying that if this game came out today, it would not be as popular as it is, I humbly disagree. If graphics and... We'll see. Let's see how Brighter Shores does. Let's find out. My, my perspective is that I don't really like arguing with people with, like, uh, theoreticals. I'm completely confident about my opinion. I'll take it to the bank. I think that whenever any game that is a clone of RuneScape ever comes out, it will not even have 10% of the success of RuneScape. And I think that one of the biggest driving factors of old school RuneScape and classic World of Warcraft is nostalgia. And I'll even go farther. I think the same thing about Halo. I think that if Halo 5 and Halo Infinite had come out, and people didn't have nostalgia for Halo 2 and 3, the games would be considered garbage jokes. That's the truth. And all the, these Unreal Engine 5 projects have taught me anything. Mm -hmm. It's that now more than ever, graphics don't mean shit. We're getting a greater and greater... Graphics do absolutely matter, but they have to meet a certain, like, threshold. It's not like the better the trees are, the better the game is, but graphics do matter for this place. This is a crazy hot take, but mm -hmm. I will stand by it. I think old school RuneScape will probably outlive almost every other MMORPG. And I'm going to say it, including World of Warcraft. Oh, hi, Blizzard's doing their best job to make sure that he's right. You don't believe me? I mean, just ask World of Warcraft players. They're right here. Yep. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Yep. I like Jimmy a lot. I think that if Brighter Shores comes out and it retains a player base that is larger than 20% of RuneScape, OSRS, 30 days after launch, if it does that and I'm wrong, I will play RuneScape on my stream. OSRS on my stream. I will. I'm very confident in my opinion. I think that I'm right. I do. Clip it. Yeah. There it is. Shipped already. And yeah, we, yeah, Starforge Lincoln. Yeah, we actually did a collab with OSRS. I think OSRS is a great game. I think that they, OSRS is the, I think they do quests better than any other MMO that I've played personally. I think that they do a lot of things that are right. So I don't want people to think that I'm trying to downplay OSRS and say that it's a bad game. I don't think that it's a bad game at all. Like, I think Classic WoW is the greatest MMO ever made, personally. Like, I, I the combat in OSRS, I'm not really a, a big fan of. Uh, but for Classic WoW, I do really enjoy it. And uh, that being said, I, I, I think that it, it, it's massively commendable. Like, it's, it's incredible, the success that RuneScape OSRS has had. And I don't want to take away from that in any capacity. I think the game is is great, right? It's an it's an amazing accomplishment, right? And, and I think that like it's interesting to hear like kind of like how his situation was like or OSRS situation, like his you know involvement with it is so much of it mirrors exactly uh, the World of Warcraft thing, right? All the way down to like the petition, the the viewers, um, you know, like signing it, uh, just like everything about it. It was like one to one. It was like really cool. It's like all, almost like an alternate reality. So I, I didn't know a lot of that history. That was that was really really cool. Arguing with fanboys is useless. Well, that's why I, I, I and that's why I said right because like I I can realize that people will not see this because they don't want to. So I I want to show it to them. You can't see it. All right, let's see. We're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna prove it right here. That's the way I see it. They're closer to it. Exactly. Yeah. And so that brighter shores is different, right? It is always something that's different. I don't think the reality is that. Why is it different, and how does that make it worse or better? That's what I described. Now it's better. Yeah, Brighter Shores won't prove anything. It will prove that a game that's made in this style without the nostalgia 
would not be able to hold a player base, which is what my uh, would not be able to hold a large player base and grow. Uh, I, I like Jimmy a lot. Jimmy's come into my chat before, and um, I think he's really passionate about the game. And I don't. I just. I hope that he doesn't think that I'm like shitting on the game or like saying the game's bad. Uh, I don't think the game is bad, but I think that as games have evolved over the years, there have been things that have been improved with games, uh, such as like combat or you know like graphics to an extent. Right? These graphics are. I actually don't think the graphics in this game are like really that problematic, but I can see where a lot of people would not like them, especially with like the character models, etc. So yeah. If this came out now, it would be on mobile. That's a good point, actually. You're right. Can you play OSRS on mobile? You can? Good. I didn't know if they made phones good enough for that. That's why I had to have a Starforge PC for OSRS, is, you know, because of the high graphical demand. But yeah. Are you going to watch this WoW video? I will watch I will watch Jimmy's WoW video. I will. You know there are new games like Burger and Cats that copy the banana concept? Yeah, of course. I mean, if I was a game dev, I'd want to get the free money, too. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I, I'm, I'm not surprised at all.